From the Civil War to today's engagement, soldiers have received the Medal of Honor to recognize their extreme acts of valor. These stories of heroic service members are all around us, and on Fort Benning, their legacies are displayed on buildings, fields, and training areas dedicated to their selfless service. A record of service that inspires soldiers of today. Since 1920, when Camp Benning was moved here south of Columbus, and they began to name these fields, the signs have gone up. And as soldiers have read those signs and asked the questions of their drill sergeants and others, they become interested in those acts of valor, which are either on the brown signs or on the sides of buildings. And they've been inspired by those acts of valor, by Medal of Honor awardees. On Fort Benning, it's places like York Field where families gather and celebrations occur that men like Sergeant Alvin C. York are remembered for their feats of marksmanship and bravery. Or Stewart Field, dedicated to Staff Sergeant Jimmy Stewart, a lone defender who gave his life to defend his wounded squad. On Eubanks Field, with its iconic airborne towers, paratroopers don their first parachutes and practice their parachute landing falls, all while paying tribute to the memory of Sergeant Ray Eubanks. Eubanks Field is named for Sergeant Eubanks, a young man who, with a Browning Automatic Rifle, or BAR, advanced on the enemy, uh, the Japanese, on an island in the Pacific. And moving forward, though wounded, and eventually his, his squad automatic weapon, the BAR, was destroyed in his hands. He continued to assault the enemy and using it as a club until he, was, he received the wound, uh, which resulted in his death. Buildings like McGinnis Wickham Hall stand tall to honor these great men of the past. In walking the halls, you never know who you may bump into, like retired Command Sergeant Major Benny G. Adkins, a Medal of Honor recipient for his actions in Vietnam who is full of advice for today's soldiers. My advice to them is uh, whether they're a one-time soldier or whether they're a career soldier, to absolutely do the best that they can and accomplish the most that they desire to accomplish. Melissa Bell, Fort Benning TV.